Hello again, EchoCraft here. So I'm continuing the series on the Roland Ira uh, little modules. Um, this one is called the T8. It's pretty cool. Um, you can see that right there. This is a combination beat machine. So this actually has the TR-808 to the 909, I think the 606 drum machines in it. Uh, a couple of pieces, not a full-blown uh, drum machine um, instruments, but, and then it also has a bass synthesizer, a TB-303 built into it, which I thought was kind of cool. Comes in this really cool orange color, um, and we're gonna do an unboxing of this guy. Stay tuned. All right, so here it is, the Roland Ira Beat Machine, the T8. Let's unbox this puppy right now. And first time opening this one, so here we go. Typical box contents, you know, the usual. Comes in these nice little bags. Roland always packs things nicely. Open this up. And there it is. Yeah. Very nice, actually. Um, so I'm going to go over some of the stuff, but let's go, let's see what else is in the box here. So again, we have the Roland... Uh, kind of manual read me first thing. We also have a uh, QR code that takes you on the um, Roland website to download the manual. And then we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, which is awesome. Yeah. So let me put all this stuff back. Put the box over here. All right. So here we go. Um, this guy is really awesome, actually. I can't wait to dive into this because I love TB303s and I love drum machines. And again, just like on the J6, we have power. We have a USB-C connector that can be connected to your computer or uh, your interface. Um, and it also charges. So you can actually use this to charge because this has an ion lithium battery in it that charges basically the entire unit. And I love that because I don't have to change the batteries and I can take this anywhere I want and set them up and play with them. Um, also right here, we have um, MIDI in and MIDI out, which are connected with a eighth inch to MIDI adapter. You can get those on Amazon, Sweetwater. Um, I'll put some links in the, uh, the description below. Um, also, right up here, we have uh, sync in and sync out which basically you can hook up to like Volca's uh, modular system, um, whatever takes a uh, five volt pulse, I guess. Um, and then over here we have mix in. Um, so if you go from the J6 into this or, the, or this out into the J6 into the mix, it daisy chains them, which is nice. And also I, I forgot to mention that too. It, it also daisy chains them um, MIDI wise, if you use an eighth inch stereo to eighth inch stereo here, if you use the sync, it's gonna send a pulse. It won't do start stop um, uh, in the sequence. So yeah, so you definitely wanna uh, use MIDI to do that. And of course, uh, the the uh, a mix output can go into headphones and mixing board, or again into another IRA um, setup, uh, you know, module. Um, so here's your volume control. Then we have uh, delay and reverb here. This section right here is your TB303 section, uh, which is interesting. We have cutoff, we have resonant filter, pitch, decay, uh, envelope filter. And then on this side, we have the drum machine. We have kick drum, snare. Uh, this is kind of like um, clap and toms, I believe. And this is hi-hats uh, right here. And then... Uh, we also have menus down here, and this also comes with a shift button, so you can actually shift uh, to get at, at some of these menus. We have tempo, and we have our control for volume, uh, value of different sounds. Um, we have decay tuning on the drums, um, which is nice, and then we have play and record. Um, so yeah, so this guy is actually, I'm very excited to play around with this. Uh, let's see if we have some power here. And yes, we do. We have power. We're ready to rock and roll. So yeah, um, it also has step loop. So this will record just like you would record if you had a TR-808. 
Um, you could do step recording. You can record on the fly, which is really nice. Um, and then also, I forgot to mention, we also have accent here. So most of those drum machines actually have an accent button. Um, it'll do ratchets. So basically you get that ratchet snare sound or the bass drum sound, um, you know, that, that quick like roll that you get uh, on most drum machines. But this is really nice and we're gonna do a sound test on it and uh, see how it sounds. I'm sure it's gonna sound amazing. I've seen other videos on it and it just sounds awesome. So, all right, let's get to it. Thank you. 
All right, there you have it. I really like that. Right out of the box, bang, started doing stuff. I haven't read the manual yet. I actually have to read the manual. There are a lot of things to do menu-wise. So basically, I'm just going to run through the manual, maybe watch some tutorials on it on YouTube. Um, but it's fun. It's cool. I can't wait to hook it up with the chord synthesizer. It should be awesome. Um, uh, what I've seen online already on YouTube, you can do some really cool stuff with this. So I'm very excited. Plus the fact they run on battery like the Volcas, but these are rechargeable. Um, and I like that. I can throw these in a backpack and go and jam anywhere. Um, even if I'm sitting at home and my wife and I are watching TV, which she'll be watching TV if I do this, I'll have some headphones on and I'll be sitting there jamming out. At least we're together, right? So we're spending time together. So anyway, um, yeah, check it out. It's the uh, Roland Ira T8. Uh, very cool little machine. Uh, lots of fun to do. And again, right out of the box, didn't do anything uh, special with it. Didn't really know what I was doing. I know how to tweak things a little bit. Um, but that was fun. You know what I mean? Um, so if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please uh, like, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Stay creative. Peace.